and welcome to me Mamad SR1A. It's a slight tidy up rather than a full blown restoration because it only needed the odd bit and bob doing. It was mechanically sound, I bought it on eBay, fairly cheap, and it needed a tidy up because there was rust here and there and tarnish and just the everyday stuff anyway as always we begin stripping how much we actually want to strip down for me I weren't I wasn't going to be stripping the firebox and boiler down but pretty much Everything else were fair game. Unlike the TE, TE1A I did last time. It didn't need a full resto. Um, pipes were in place and there weren't missing bits. And what was there were good. So it was quite an easy tidy up resto job. I spent an evening and a morning past a few hours and here I'm taking off the top hat fixings that hold the wheels on taking them off unclipped and now wheels should come off taking parts off here as well at this point I'm taking the flywheel off I've clipped vice grips onto the shaft and put the wheel in the vice note that I put it spoke to spoke and not gap to gap in the vice so I didn't crush the wheel here I'm driving out the pot rivets so I can take the smoke box off if for nothing more than to polish the band and here I am this were one of my mistakes I washed out the burner in water and I used the Brillo pad to clean up the chrome which it won't last forever but it'll do I'm using some more after but my deliberate mistake was when I came to light it after my burner was full of water in the wadding so I had to give it a good squeeze get the water out then put more mess in and here I'm polishing up pipes and here I'm giving the boiler band a polish I'm using Solva one me Dremel with a buffing wheel here I'm using wax polish on the paint to bring the paint up again you could use teacup but I use wax it's less, less harsh to the paint and it'll still bring the shine up and there I am doing the paint on the boiler and cylinder mounting just again using wax polish to bring up the shine in the paint shiny Shine on your crazy diamond. And here I'm trying a method a lot of people have mentioned on eBay. I'm 50 50 with it. They reckon tomato sauce will take tarnishing off brass. I didn't see a great deal of difference after leaving it in it for 12 hours. <laughs> 
And here, I'm putting on Hatching Primer. It makes it stick better to the metal. And I followed that with some black gloss. Which is going on there. And it is quite an excellent finish. And here I've just done a little bit of... I've sprayed a little bit of etching primer on and spraying a bit of gloss black over the top of it. I got a little bit too far over there. But later on when it had dried I took the over spray off with a little bit of mats. And here I'm spraying that already done etching primer that with the black gloss. Anywhere here, I'm knocking, I've already sprayed the wheels red, and I'm knocking the top out back on. side knocking the wheel on and then I put the top part on that side and there we are with the wheels back on well hey we get in there papa And here, some things never cease to astound you, but I steamed this up and it steamed up, with that gasket in it, how it didn't leak, I don't know, one of the great mysteries of life. And here, taking out the other gasket, because I'm well o-ring. Because you wouldn't believe I had an O-ring tool. So what do I use? A scalpel. And here we are, I'm polishing up the piston here. Bringing all the brass nice shine to it. Shiny! And here I'm polishing the alloy on the flywheel. I've not really done it on the wheels. I've got some TE ones I'm going to be restoring. And then I'm going to be giving the wheels to my friend. To give them a quick skim on the lathe. Just give them a facing. And here, why I don't use a mallet, I've got one. Or even if I put something over it, like cloth or whatever. But hey, oh, putting the flywheel back on. Anyway, here's where we finished up. And at the end, I've got a special treat for one of my friends across the pond in the States. Cat wanted to see it running. 
give his view channel of viewing to a HD cap. Worth a view, he does some stuff. And he's partially sighted, so it's amazing what he can do for partial sight. Anyway, here we go, cat. There we go. Going around under its own power. Yeah, the great little machines. <coughs> Very simple. But never fail to bring a smile to my eye when you run up. Smile to me eye, smile to me face even. But yeah, the ground run even. And I haven't set my, had tightened my steering too much. So it wasn't tilting enough and the drive wheel was lifting a little bit off the ground. But it's still managing to make it right. <coughs> It'd have done it all the better if I'd have set it proper. And there we go, a quick little bit in reverse. Anyway, if you've enjoyed, if you've enjoyed, please subscribe. I get miles more watching than subscribe. <coughs> Even better, ring the bell for notifications. And bye for now. Take care out there, people.